This is an EPIR. It stands for Emergency Position Indicating Radio Beacon. Now, these have saved many lives. It is law in Queensland that you carry an EPIRB on your boat or jet ski if it's in open water and more than two nautical miles from land. There's an, you're not required to carry it inside that distance, but there's no one saying you can't. They've come down a lot in price over the years and they've become more accurate than they used to be as well. So, very important, you carry one. It's uh, got to be current. The battery life does have a limit. So check the battery life when you buy your EPIRB and make a note of that somewhere where you'll be reminded in this day and age that'll be on your phone or your computer and uh, give yourself some lead time to either replace the battery or replace the actual EPIRB. When you buy it, you register it with the Australian Maritime Safety Authority, AMSA for short. Now, that's relatively easy. You can go to the AMSA website and you can do it online. And then keep updating AMSA if anything changes. If you change your boat, it's important they have the latest information. Change your address, change your phone plan, change your emergency contact details. You can notify AMSA uh, online or by phone. They also write to you um, every couple of years to double check that your details are in fact correct. So it's a wonderful system. Uh, watch the video that follows from AMSA and it explains how they work and gives you more information.